Hey peeps, programmers and pelicans, Isaac here in front of you on YouTube and today we're gonna see the difference between having two operating systems on one single device and running an operating system on a virtual machine. First up, it's the famous VM that everybody talks about how it's easier to set up and run without ruining everything else in the device you're using. Many devices are now capable of running two OS's, one on the internal drive and another on a virtual drive. This variety comes from desktop computers to laptops to even Android mobile devices. But running an OS on a VM has its downsides. One of the biggest downsides is that running a VM usually uses just one core of your CPU. So it keeps lagging even if you have dual, quad, or even octa-core CPU. But this doesn't matter if I want to run a command prompt because I wouldn't care about the lag anymore. But what if I ran a Windows 8 OS to play Battlefield? Three things will happen in this case. 1. Your CPU core will blow up because it's always maxed out while your other 7 cores are resting. 2. Your motherboard's internal video card will blow up too because VMs don't use your GeForce or ATI or Tegra or Adreno GPU. 3. If your RAM is pictured as water, your house will be flooded because you're running two OSs and a game at the same time. On the contrary, dual booting, which is formatting the internal memory, installing two or more OS's and running just one, is better. Because now not only you're using less RAM, you're also running the OS directly from your machine. So the OS is now more compatible and uses all your 8 cores and your GPU too. So, no lag, no fire, and no floods. So if you wanna run two OS's on the same device, just don't waste your time trying to set up a VM and actually use that time to back up, format, and dual boot that second OS. Any other ideas? Meet me in the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one.